we have started writing csr program and there is only one line that we are using as of now we are using console dot write line and inside that write line we are writing some message and that message gets displayed on the output window but similar to this write line method there is one more method inside the console class which is write in this video we will understand what is the difference in both of them and when and how to use both of them either i can use the same project or i can create another one so let's just create another one click on this one console application next and this time i have to go inside the this fourth video because this is the fourth video of this particular course let's select it and this is the name of our project we are okay with that let's click on this next button and this time either you can use it or leave it it is as per you let's just use do not use top level statements and click on this create button let's just write three messages over here this one so here i'm writing first second and then i'm writing third let's run this application and i believe you already know what should be the output we will get three lines first second and third and this is the correct output but instead of using this right line this time let's use only the right so here i'm just removing this line only i'm having this console dot right okay i have not made any further change i'm just using only the right method instead of using the right line method and remember i'm saying method keyword multiple times over here so if you do not know anything about method or properties do not worry in upcoming videos we will cover all of them but whenever i'm writing a word and after that i'm using a parenthesis it means i'm working on a method here in this program if you will notice i'm having this particular word which is console app one it is not a method because there is no parenthesis after it then i'm having this program it is also not a method this is a class we have written the class keyword over here but here after this main we are having the parenthesis it means this main is a method similar to this main this write is also a method because here i'm writing the parenthesis i can also create my own methods and so many methods are already provided by the framework this console dot write is provided by the framework they have already written its implementation and we are just using it so here after this write you can see i'm using the parenthesis it means i'm working on this write method let's just run this application this time you will see we are getting the message in one single line first i'm having the output from this first method first then there is no space no new line i'm having second and then i'm having the third so did you notice what is the difference in between right and right line the difference in between right and right line is that this right method will write the output in the same line but if i'm using the right line then it will write the method in the same line and it will move the cursor to the next line let's say here i'm having the line so first method is right second is right line third is right so what should be the output let's run it see first i am having right so f i r s t it got display over here the cursor is still at this place then we got console dot right line second so second will start from the same position of the cursor s e c o n d and once this particular line will get display on the output then it will add a new line so after second there will be a new line this is also a great interview question that the interviewer will create a kind of logic of all these right and right line and he will ask you about the new line and the same line remember this right line will add a new line only after writing the entire message now there are few more things to understand about this right and right line it is not always necessary to use the double quotes over here i can also write my logic over here without writing this double quote let's say here i'm writing only one let's run this application and let's see what is the output you can see i'm having one and then the second the second is coming from this second line so if i'm using this line over here see i'm having one second and third 
let's just copy this line paste it again and here let's use one plus one just save the changes and click on this button again you can see i'm having one two second and third so from the first line i'm getting the output one from the second line i'm not getting one plus one but i'm getting its actual value so one plus one is equals to two that is why here i'm getting two what will happen if i'm using double quotes over here let's add that also so first let's remove this first line like this run this application we have to focus only on these two lines so here you can notice that from the first line we are getting the message 2 but from the second line we are getting the message as it is if you want to display your message as it is then always use these double quotes if you need the value of your expression then you can use it directly but remember ultimately when you will learn more about this right line method internally it is also using the two string method so the meaning is whatever you are writing over here ultimately its value will be converted to the string and what is a string whatever we are writing inside these double quotes those are known as a string over here in this c sharp you might have some questions in your mind how do i know about the right method how do i know about this right line method who told me to add this console dot right line how do i find out what else is available over there so there is a simplest way you do not have to remember everything you just have to focus only on the concept that is what i'm telling since the beginning of this course okay so what is the concept here this console dot right line you can see the color is also different over here for this console and for this right line if i hover my mouse on this console you will see it is saying class system dot console represents the standard input output and error streams for console application so this console is a class what is a class that we will learn in upcoming video but for now just learn that this console is a class and the main purpose of this class is to work on the standard input output and error streams only for the console applications now about this right line if i hover my mouse over here you will see we are having some text it is saying void console dot right line int value it means i can pass some integer value over here and there are plus 17 overloads it means this right line method is written 17 times and there are 17 different ways to use this right line method 17 plus this one so total 18 methods are there how do i find out all those methods so this right line is also a method that is written by the dotnet team and we are just using them and because the dotnet is open source now so we can see the implementation as well how can we see that there are two ways either you can use the github repository or you can use these methods and you can navigate to their implementations how to do that so let's say i want to see the implementation of this console class just put your mouse over here and simply right click and use this go to definition or go to implementation this go to definition has a shortcut which is f12 and this implementation has control plus f12 so just put your mouse over here and simply press f12 button or simply use this go to definition here you will see we are having a class it is public static class console and inside this console class there are so many things see so here first i will collapse all the implementations so again i can right click over here and use this outlining and i can use this collapse to definitions okay now you will see there are so many things this is the console class and there are few constants over here few static variables over here then if you will scroll down a little bit you will see there are some properties as well this is called as property in csrp we will learn more about them in upcoming videos but if i scroll down a little bit more you will see we are having this right line see in this right line we are having total 18 implementations and we also have this write method if i scroll down a little bit it does not have any further methods there is only write line and this method as well but this is how you can find out how to dig more into your code and if you remember here i am passing the value in double quotes and here i am passing the value directly how will i find out that so if i right click on this write line method and use this go to definition or implementation so here you will notice this time we are redirected to this integer value 
let's try with the second one also so i'm right clicking on this one and use go to definition this time you will notice we are on this string value so this right line method supports all these things you can pass the boolean value the character value the array of care the decimal double float integer so many things are there and you can pass all of them internally this right line method will call the two string method and ultimately your data will get displayed in the string format so this is the main difference in between right line and right and this is how you can see how to find out what all is available and what is given by the framework.